So in this example, we have a child's toy can be modelled as being made of a solid cone and hemisphere of the same uniform material. Find the centre of mass of the toy. So we have a hemisphere with a radius of four centimetres. And then we've got this cone with a base radius of four centimetres and a height of 12 centimetres. Now, we've got the information here that will allow us to find the centre of mass of those two shapes. Um, when we work out the mass, um, we are going to be doing that as volumes. So I'm going to do that as volume, so the mass is going to be proportional to the volume. OK, so before we begin, we should decide where our origin is going to be. Now, to make the calculations easier, it probably makes sense to have the origin as that point there. And so we can go up and below it. That seems like a reasonable place to put it. You could put it down here if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to position it there. OK, so let's call the hemisphere A and the cone B. So A and B. So because I'm looking at it as a 2D face on, uh, I just need to work with X's and Y's because uh, the shape is symmetric um, about your Z axis, essentially. So I don't need um, to think of a Z coordinate here. I can just work with X's and Y's. Now you might also argue for that, that actually I don't need to consider X, do I? Because X would be um, zero because of the symmetry of the shape. So, yeah, I'll ignore X as well. Um, let's go with that. So we'll just do the Y coordinate. So I'm going to have the mass, uh, the y coordinate, the centre of mass, and m times y. OK, let's make this as easy as, I, as easy as possible. So first of all, we've got the mass of uh, the hemisphere. Now, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the volume of the hemisphere is going to be half of that, with r being 4. So we have 4 thirds times by 4 cubed times by pi, and then divide that by 2. So that's 128 pi over 3 k. Now, as for B, uh, the volume of a cone is one third pi uh, r squared h. So um, we have one third times by four squared times by twelve times by pi, and that's sixty four pi. So 64 pi k will be my mass. So I've got 64 plus 128 over 3. So that's 320 pi over 3 k. That's my total mass. Now, the y coordinate of the center of mass for A. So for a solid hemisphere, it's 3 eighths r from the base. So we've got 3 eighths times by uh, 4, so 3 eighths times by 4, so 3 halves. Um, so I'll just put that as, uh, well, I'll put it as 3 halves. I was thinking 1.5, I'll keep it as 3 halves. Now for the cone, it's a quarter h from the base, so a quarter of 12 is 3, so it's at minus 3. So we've got 128 over 3 times by 3 halves, and that's 64 pi k. And then 64 times 3, so minus 192 pi k. Um, so we've got 64, take away 192, so that's minus 128 pi k. 
So the average of the y's, minus 1, 2, 8 pi k over 320 pi over 3 k, which is minus 6.5, so minus 1.2, and that's uh, centimetres. So that means our centre of mass is 1.2 centimetres below the origin.